So just smashing the ball, we call it forward close. But uh, so very important is I mean control. So start slowly and then hitting the ball with a speed, but a good control. So at least I mean you should hit the ball. 50, 20 times without mistake, just to get a feeling for the ball and to warm up. So when we talk about uh, warming up, I mean, we have seen in the beginning the next steps for the body. Now we speak about warming up at the table. So now you see the next step. So Yanobe, he uh, plays some, some top spin from forehand side, and Jürgen is just blocking. So this is the second step. So one player starts to play top spin, and now it's changing. Now Jürgen is playing some top spin, and Gio is blocking. แล้วก็จะมีการสกัดกันนะคะคือมีคนเป็นท็อปนะคะอีกคนเป็นบล็อกนะคะเมื่อกี้ก็จะเห็นว่าโคเนอร์เนี่ยเขาท็อปสปิน
So now it's back and top spin against back and block. So Jürgen starts to play some top spin. Uh, as you can see, it's still working.
Any questions? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no questions. You have to prepare for playing too, Combination to play, so you can choose. I mean, one one or two two, or to play one exercise first of all to the backhand, then to the middle, one to the backhand, and then back again to the forehand, and then repeat it again. So this is backhand, middle, backhand, middle, backhand, forehand, backhand, middle, backhand, forehand, backhand, middle, backhand, forehand. So this is one variation. One, one, two, two, back and middle, back and forth. Uh, just a little. Also variation could be the three points, like forehand, and middle, and back and Or yeah, back and middle. Point, middle, again. Middle, forehand, forehand. <laughs> offside, this was offside. <laughs> Mistake. <laughs> Good. Okay, everything is clear, no questions. <laughs> And so this was the And uh, some players they are changing because uh, we divide it in uh, the backhand grip, which is more useful for playing backhand, and a forehand grip, which is more useful to play forehand. And some of the players they can change very quickly. So you know sometimes it's changing your diagonals a little bit. But some players like me, I like to have the backhand grip. So for me it was not so easy to change the handle during the strokes. It depends on the player, but so if you are a good player, you are able to change the grip. Some more questions? No questions. Okay, let me continue. This was like, uh, I told uh, at the beginning, like, you have the, the, the stretching, the warming up, then you do the warming up at the table, then you start with some easy exercises like this. And then maybe you do some footwork exercises. So this was now for control, to get ready. And uh, then the next step is like you start training with the footwork, to improve your footwork. So, so one of the uh, exercises he liked the most is playing uh, one or two ball with the backhand, then he step around, he play one forehand, and then he step to the forehand and he play forehand straight to the backhand, back again. 
So one two us three back end, step around, and play the front end, straight to the back end and back end. Yes, front and back. Yes, front and back. And back end. Back end. Back end. Back end. So this exercise is called Falkenberg because I think it was invented in Falkenberg. So this was a former coach from Falkenberg who uh, invented this exercise. That's why it's called Falkenberg. Oh, you see, he's playing one or two backhand after he step around, choose the right ball, and then play straight from forward. Oh, oh. nice shot. <laughs> so, this is one variation. What is, what is your favorite exercise? Ah, okay. Same thing as I said. Next exercise to him. He's, yes, he's, he's playing forehand from the backhand side and forehand from the middle. So he. So this means he likes to improve his work from the backhand side. So small steps. And from the middle, and always try to hit the ball behind oh. his body. Yes. Yes, because he's getting older, so sometimes he's losing. This is also a variation, but not so easy. So this is one variation from the backhand side, but you could also play this exercise from the forehand side. So if you play one from the forehand or one in the middle, you can play it straight or you can play it cross. It depends what you like to move up to play more. So the same exercise now, but one ball to the forehand side and one ball to the middle. And one from the back. So this is one variation. There's many, many different exercises. And it depends on the player's uh, playing style and uh, of the target of the training, so what he likes to improve. But there's many different exercises and uh, I can tell you the many top, years top, 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 repeated some of the exercises for maybe uh, thousands of millions of times. And your defense, it means they are not choppers, but the defense means blocking. So, how to practice, how to improve your blocking game. So, Jorgen is playing top spin from the forehand side and here is blocking one ball from the forehand side and one ball from the backhand side. So he start regular. One forehand cross, one straight. One cross, one straight and he was blocking. So his target is now to improve his blocking blocking game. <laughs> So this was just to show some holes, for example. In this uh, exercise you can combine it. If you, are, if you have a good control, you, <laughs> if, you are, if you are on a, on, a, on a good level and you have the feeling that you can control, control the ball, then you combine it and you can go to the next. You start with the more complicated exercises now. Maybe now Jürgen is playing 
some balls all over the table and he has to react. I'm not working, so I don't need to work. <laughs> Just copy. So as you can see, Gavin is playing the top spin all over the table and he has to defend by himself. For this exercise, you need a good anticipation, you need to know or estimate where the ball is coming and you have to erect in a very short time. So this is one more reaction and uh, you can also combine these exercises when you play topspin for the second side or in many, many different ways. And the uh, most important thing in table tennis in these days is service and receive. So as I told from in the beginning, it's important that you practice all variations, all playing styles. But I think the main focus in these days is on service and receive. So now we will show you some exercises with service, receive and the first ball attack. Yes, and you receive. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, so now let me show an exercise on his service. He received. He has two options. Either he received long to the back end or he received short to the forward. And then it's up to him to decide. How will he react if he start attacking with the backhand or with the forehand? One more show, long receive. Jeremy is always awaiting, expecting the short service. That's why he always waits inside the table, and then he has two options. He can receive long to the backhand, short to the forehand, and different variations. He can push, he can flip, and also for you, he can decide by himself. Start with the backhand spin, start with forehand spin. <laughs> Just his option is he's serving short and he receives wherever he wants. He can receive short, he can receive long, and Jürgen has to be ready, but the first ball has to be in his back.